In Bahrain, popular uprising continues despite the heavy-handed tactics used by the government to silence the people. We sacrificed our soul and blood for you, Marty. That's what these Bahraini protesters are shouting as they continue protests against the monarchy which has ruled the island for decades. It looks like the harsh crackdown on protesters has failed to work. The protesters denounced the torture of jailed demonstrators. Several detainees have died under interrogation. The daughter of prominent human rights activist Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja recalls how the regime forces attacked their house to capture her father. They broke down the, the building door and they broke down our apartment door and straight away attacked my father without giving him a chance to speak and without giving any reason for his arrest. Um, they dragged my father down the stairs and um, started beating him in front of me. Tens of thousands of kilometers away, Zainab's sister Maryam, who is also a rights activist, questioned the U.S. Secretary of State over Washington's silence towards the crackdown in Bahrain. My father and my two brother-in-laws and my uncle have all gone missing. We don't know where they are and it's been several days and we're afraid for their lives. Already four people have died and their bodies have showed up with torture marks on them. And I think it's really necessary for the U.S. government to make a strong statement about what's going on in Bahrain because these are U.S. allies at the end of the day. Thank you very much. Other Western countries have also been accused of turning a blind eye to the dire situation in Bahrain. Meanwhile, Western media do not provide sufficient coverage of the events in Bahrain. The flagship Arab language channels Al Jazeera and the Saudi-owned Al Arabia have imposed a complete media blackout. All this has failed to demoralize the Bahraini protesters who still braved the brutal clampdown by the Saudi-backed Bahraini forces. Opposition groups say over 800 people have been arrested in the past two months. Dozens of people have been killed, some of them under torture in the regime prisons. Israel has also been using the same tactics to silence the Palestinian over the past decades. But Palestinians have not been intimidated and have even stepped up their struggle against the Israeli occupation. The Bahraini forces and their Saudi backers must now ask themselves whether the brutal suppression of Bahrain's revolution will ever work.